Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and I'm just going to show you the aftermath of all of this this fiasco with Chief Hop and Soini, particularly Soini. So everyone is going to at the double standards of what's going on here. And just to not circle around of what's going on, well if, if the censorship is confirmed and part of Chief Hop reputation is heavily damaged. But at the same time, there is the other side where they are just telling that, yeah, Sony put a stick on Chifa's ass and they were just speaking in favor of them to make a profit. So you have, for example, this one like, carry the Sony PlayStation for a decade. Make sure everyone has fun playing for your games. Make sure your game has attractive characters. Keep video games away from politics. Be Japan Studio and pick related. <coughs> but uh, this one is what I'm referring to double standards because yeah, everyone is pointed out that the blood of Senran Kagura has been six years. Well balanced content versus inhibit the sound of grown up development of young people diminutive women. I keep telling people the most misogynistic pieces of shit are women, homosexuals, and male feminists. So, even... <laughs> this one went hilarious to me. When even Shifa wa was poked by Yokotaro, because this is a piece of the interview. Speaking of which, Mr. Kim... I wanted to ask you if there were any fights with Sony Interactive Entertainment since they are publishing Stellar Blade and King lasted at Siesta's members in the room and Laos. The people that see are very, very nice. And Yoko says, Siesta's members are pulling faces i never seen before. I wish the readers on this article could see it. <laughs> oh man, it was fucking hilarious reading that. that Yoko Taro knew what's going on, and, and quote-unquote our side is divided because, well, they decided to buy a PlayStation 5. Second of all, they decided to buy one game for the PlayStation 5. Why do you keep giving money to, to Sony like this? Then they go back room, and then you, because, well, this one... I decided to send Stellar Raid and my channel faced multiple ways of bot attacks and my Discord server was banned with troll accounts. This is from Dar Baradark. A lot of people are just facing fucking bots. And YouTube again is being flooded with bots, not surprised there. They are trying to get accounts like mine banned. These people are insanely angry over the attention this game is getting. Yeah, even here in this fucking platform, X. And you have this one. Will you retract your accusations to were so in now that she was just confessed? Will you retract? What the fuck is your problem? Why are you defending a company? And this one, what Permaban say here? Excuse me, you were the one insinuating she had wanted to censor this other game because you get upset over people blaming Big Corpo so in for pressuring mostly Asian devs to censor. Asian people, I'm not going to feel sympathy for you next time you do business with Sony. And that goes for the same for Mihoyo. But that's why I'm not interested in fucking Mihoyo. Not only because of their fucking monetization is far dog shit than Shifa is with their gacha games. It's that they censored. They love censored from both the West and for China and, the, and Asia because... They are controlled by a fucking leftist government. Are you fucking surprised with that? Are you fucking surprised that, about communism? Oh, man. <laughs> what if I tell you? So, it, it, the discourse gets insane. For the people who are going all... She thought wanted to change some Stellar Blade outfits. I know the qu quite a few of you think that. I requested you entertain me for a moment and have a little talk experiment, just a tiny one. So, what facts do we do know right now? There were office chains and edits. She have CEOs admitted it in a live press and even the office have been changed. The unedited uncensored office are publicly available in the physical unpatched build of the game. Count. Third. 
the initial digital release of the game already had the outfits edited, which led to circumstantial evidence that there was a still transition patch between the initial physical disc build and the patch that removed the hard graffiti. And this is my argument with, that we should ne never do business with Sony because they have this long track record. They tell these developers, oh, you keep doing what you want. We are not going to fuck you. But then they decide to fuck you at the last moment. We have seen that with... Senran uh, Kagura, the other sample is Omega Labyrinth to the point that when they released Omega Labyrinth Live, the only censored version is the Sony one and not the Nintendo Switch. That one is perfectly fine even to this day. But I have to assume that that thing will change later because there is this thing with consoles nowadays that they can just patch it and at any moment, just like with schoolgirls. So, just continue. So, if yours and others' words are to be believed that Sony was innocent and Shifun was fully responsible for the censorship, then, were the, to, then answer this question. Why did the dead, through years of development, QA testing and editing, decided to ship out this with uncensored content? That's the key word here. Sony has been doing this for a very long time. At the last moment, they love to fuck them over because probably they have the same kind of CEOs that even EA has. And just to put a little context with EA, if you remember Need for Speed games, the Shift games, Shift of Shift Does Unleash, this one, I Am Bell, it was the creator of the engine that they were using for those two specific games. When he went out of, of fucking EA because they were fucking them over so badly. What did he say in an interview? What, he didn't fuck up that time yet uh, Project Cars when he was actually striving with Project Cars 1 and Project Cars 2. He said that it was because they have fucking CEOs pieces of shit that they have been there for years. Especially one that actually left... EA after the dog shit fiasco that was Battlefield 5 with the whole work agenda. He said that yeah, there are a lot of fucking executives inside that they get off. They like jerking off uh, the decision of fucking them up and cheating on customers while doing so. So Sony is like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So just to continue with this. While it's true that Shifat can't be trusted as a AAA company right now because of what happened, they still the gacha game. They still have that. And at this moment, you have to see if they are going to censor that too, because it's true, they had censorship in Nike, and then to correct themselves, they release it insane character designs like fucking Red Hood. Uh, or if the newest ones, Chrome is going to have a skin when she is fully naked, almost fully naked. But the thing is, people need to see if they are going to stick to that design because they have a track record of backtracking. Uh, this is what we are. Nike still has. The well, Chief of Sorry has Nike, and they need to protect that because, well, <coughs> everyone at the same time is pointed out. A lot of people are just fucking cheering on Chief of and saying all goodwill is gone, it was worth it. I have to say, probably your arguments are valid, but you have uh, something that I have to add is that they. They were on the brink of bankruptcy before going full life with Nike. And around that time, they already signed it with, uh, with Sony. It was something that they could not backtrack because you know how draconian Sony is. Look at the fucking track record of the music industry with Sony. How they fuck in the ass Michael Jackson.
And yeah, the, uh, I know I mentioned it that they were. Bara Dirk was mentioned. Bara Dark, sorry. The, she was mentioning that she got flagged by fucking bots. And then this account again. This dude get, got flagged. And then, of course, you have the fucking disingenuous love crowd that they really love. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> to shit on everyone else and make their way that, yeah, we won. We sense, we force our, our behaviors onto you. We won. And just to cite what Black Silver Hype said here. You see, breaches like this one are why censorship happens because the MB Eve for all they never watch be what she is. So to continue, stellar red censorship, cybernetics bondage outfit, or in general this version versus updated patch. So uh, this is another example of the outfit. I'm sorry for doing that, and just continue with this one. Another one citing that, yeah, everyone is clowning up this fucking retard. I see this logic way too much from pronoun children. I'll try to break this down simply. All censorship is bad and should be opposed. I agree. And what I hate the most is the fucking hypocrisy that, yeah, my degeneracy is fine, yours not. And even my degeneracy is tame compared to what you are into. But well, that's because it's what we call forcing behaviors. You should not be surprised with that one. <clears throat> so there is no little bit of censorship. Are you going to say li it's tame the censorship compared to what they did in the past? But nonetheless, censorship is still censorship, and I agree with that. So that is a fucking crappy argument too. Even if it's just little, it's still censorship and should not be tolerated. So it's a slow creep that always starts somewhere, it will eventually spread to things you like. Always does. And this is the prime example of hypocrisy. PlayStation be like, oh you can have spicy intimate relationships with the same gender in Baldur's Gate and beers, I will protect the right of the free speech. But while also PlayStation, a Korean card that show with her hits in a 18 plus game. It should be ready to exist, eh? if for elder sensor now, because with this is the ca I know, again, this one some of the fa same fucking arguments from these fucking homosexual pedophiles. Oh yes, strike my pillow, I will brought you my fantasy so queer, so no hot, so horny, and then you have it when it comes to. Stellar Blade with good looking female characters that they don't have the man jaw face. Pronadic, you made it political again. This because the fucking sellouts. It's like World War II, again, honestly. I know I shit a lot of the tiny has. I think a lot of me believe that something they are not telling us with what happened over that fucking war. But I'm going to say you that. Useful idiots got clowned out on the oh the fucking the tiny hats at the sources of evil and then some of them they were actually tiny hats and they got replaced by some enemy far even worse. But I'm just going to leave it to that. I just going to leave it to that because oh they're going to tell me you made it political. But that's it. This is what you need to know right now with all of this. Just to end with this whole shift of cheat show. That's pretty much everything I need to say here. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty good day.